Hi, so here's the uh, the walk around video on Josephine. She's a 1976 right hand drive Devon Eurovet. Um, some really nice features on this one. Um, one of the most interesting is it has uh, light steer power steering fitted to it, um, which is really nice. Um, um, personally, I find sort of the bay windows are fine uh, driving uh, with the standard steering wheel, um, but if you if you know for real sort of ease um or if you're you know a little bit lighter build um then um then the uh light steer is is really helpful um so what i'll try to do is take you around panel by panel um just to show you just how good she is so we look at common areas like um the the rubbers for example you want to see that they're nice and supple, not dried out, because the dried out ones will crack and hold water. Um, look along the bottom of the windscreen and you can see there's no issues at all. Uh, and then up on the, the A post. If we look down through, all the front panel is absolutely fine. One of the areas we look at is along here. Um, that's just a mark on there. Um, but we look along here because it's an area that water can trap and there's no no problems there at all what i'm going to do then is take you up onto the gutters gutters are the one of the most expensive areas um, if they go because you've got the roof the gutter piece an inner piece and the outer here so effectively four parts um, that then you'd have to remove the headlining and everything else on this van, the gutters are absolutely fine. Um, but again, because so many of my sales are, um, are remote sales, then it's important that I can show you everything, excuse me, <laughs> going through a, a tight gap between two vans, either that or I've had too much Christmas pudding. Um, moving down on the Christmas, uh, Christmas, sorry. Moving down on the window sills here, and I'll just close the sliding door just along so you can see all along here and all along here. No problems whatsoever. Um, we move around the back. Again, it's all good. Oh, these for, a, I don't know if you can see them there, just there. There's a bit of plastic here that are, they're called, a company called Ears. And what they do is take the air, help the air go into the um, the vents on the side and keep the engine cool. So quite a nice addition there, not just something for, for looks. Um, moving along here. Oh, and then you've got the Devon louvered window there. Um, and then back down to the front. If we then come down to what we call the dog leg, so the, the wheel arch... Sometimes you, you want to be careful on these and the door will come then down onto the, the sill, which you can see is all good, and over the wheel arch. And the battery tray level is roughly here. Um, and so if it starts to corrode, it will have blisters coming from the inside out um, Josephine is absolutely fine um, and got some nice little um, light surrounds there um, if we then look we're basically along the bottom of any panel if water was to trap you'd have bubbles sort of along the bottoms of the panels very often um, again it's absolutely fine and if you have a look here, it's all good. There's tiniest chip of paint, little bit of a wear there, um, but that's not a concern. What I'm what I'm looking for is if there's any any sort of real rust, which there, there isn't. Um, it's a little bit dark in here this evening, um, but it's a 1600 um, original 1600 twin port. Um, but you can also just about make out the the twin carbs on there as well. So just gives it a little bit extra. Um, there's a leisure battery in there, which is untested. So essentially what we say there is the system is there, 
you might need to replace the leisure battery possibly because we have we haven't tested that um it might be absolutely fine but um we always sort of say that that it's untested that's for the electric hookup again wheel arch this side oh that's just a bit of dirt uh, all good as is the, the side panel there and if i squeeze through again you can see along the bottom of the sliding door is all good and then we look down on the sill oh there's my mate reg um, along the sill is all fine again we'll come up over the door and the dog leg and there's just spot there and two or three there but that almost looks like almost looks like something in the paint but for for the van overall that's the only bit that I've just spotted um, you can see white wall tire trims beauty rings and hubcaps so it really looks lovely and up on the top there um, is your tubo roof rack um, the original Devon um, canvas on the pop top then we've got some little eyebrows on the headlights y pack spots and the chrome spare wheel cover oh and the spare the uh, chrome grill there as well i hadn't spotted that um if we open up inside you can see she's lovely so all the seats front and back as you'll see in the photographs are, have all been done to match they all look really lovely Th those back ones by the way um on the back rest i'll show you in a minute but that's that's an extra cover so if you look at the seat area that's where the upholstery is. Um, but it's a really nice sort of denim um, material. Grey door cards, really nice wood rim steering wheel. And you can't really see it very easily, but the, the um, power steering unit is down there. They've added chrome surrounds to the dials and it's actually got a clock, which I know sounds silly, but that was always on a uh, an option on the Volkswagens <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and there's the face JVC um, for the stereo it's got um, that's a voltage um, sign you've got the cigarette 12 volt lighter there so you can plug um, sat nav all that sort of thing into it or charge your phones uh, and then there's quite a nifty little um, cubby hole in the middle there um, with two cup holders in the front um then in the back so as i say this area on the seat is the upholstery and if i take that cover off you can see there's the the other upholstery a um, couple of speakers up the top and the bunk beds are up there which obviously you've seen in the photographs um cupboard there with your sink storage the table obviously comes out, wardrobe there, and there's the fantastic little Devon cooker. Top comes up, as you'll see in the photograph, so you can use it inside, but you can also swing it 90 degrees and use it outside. Um, so really nice curtains. There, there really isn't anything on the bus that needs doing. It's ready to go. Um, and then just at the back there, you can see solar panel that is included with it. Um, those two white rails are the awning rail to fit the Kayam motor, motor Dome Tora, it's called. So quite a relatively modern um, uh, awning. Um, that's probably worth 500-ish, I would imagine. Um, so really nice, a really nice bus overall. Um, as you can see, I've got plenty in stock and uh, a lot of my sales are remote sales um, so you can't see because it's getting a little bit dark but there's the one with the white top um, getting that ready to go out to America um, tomorrow going to Southampton um, to get the boat there's another one down there going to Germany uh, that one's going to Essex in um, at the end of this month and then there's another one oh, right down in the corner with the deeper orange that's going to France and 
that beauty um, split screen that's going oh that's actually that's staying in the UK um, but most of those that I've just mentioned um, the people have relied on on my sort of videos photographs of course people are well more than welcome to come down um, but I appreciate you know you certainly can't from abroad or some people you know further a distance away so that's why I try to do a decent video uh, by all means if there's any questions you have or you want to do sort of any photographs anything like that please don't hesitate to ask and we can certainly help um, to organize transport to your door okay thank you